channel so in this video I want to do a cute simple vacation look now I just experienced this while on vacation it especially if you're going to somewhere that's hot tropical you don't want to have 10 pounds of makeup on your face it's just not okay you may look cute in the house or in the hotel but once you go out inside outside in the elements you're sweating everywhere and it's just not cute so while i was recently on our our vacation which was our hawaii vacation if you haven't seen our hawaii vlog go ahead and check that out i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen here and uh t definitely take a look at that but i just wanted to do a cute quick simple vacation look that you can achieve where you're, it's very lightweight um very cute you can look cute but don't have to do all that extra stuff so let's get right into it but before we do make sure you like subscribe and comment also follow your girl on all social media platforms i will highly appreciate it if you are new make sure you do all those things that i just said if you've been rocking with me welcome back i love you guys but let's get right into this look so basically we're gonna go in with our eyebrows especially if you are a person who is a uh, challenged in the eyebrow area like your girl because look at this uh, i don't have any but i'm about to fix that real soon i've been thinking about the microblading so or whatever i'm going to research it again because i think there's some new things that are out right now so your girl really needs it you know i'll be trying to have my little cousins give me their eyebrows because i feel they don't need them but they be hating on me shout out to anissa Mm -hmm. and KK who played me they know who they are okay but <laughs> we're gonna start with our eyebrows and I just sharpened my eyebrow pencil and I'm just filling them bad boys in there's no other way to say that and we're just going to shape them out And this look will look good on pictures. But if you already have eyebrows, you can just skip this step unless you just want to fill them in. And it's been a minute. Anybody who knows me knows that I love to travel. Like, I was going somewhere twice a year, maybe. And then things happened in my life. My husband with cancer and pandemic. And, and I just didn't get to travel the way I wanted to. And I kind of forgot how it felt to get out there and travel until our recent vacation and I'm like I'm really missing it so I vow to no matter what no matter what's going on even if it's a short little two-day getaway to just go somewhere and relax and unwind it's very needed like just the stresses of the world and our daily lives it can really do a number to you like it can it can really hit hit you hard so it's important that we practice self-care and get away and just do a mental cleanse that's what we need and this past trip reminded me that that's what needs to happen so you're going to be seeing more from me um 
I'm gonna put on here I started another Instagram page called it's simply Shani travels and I'm gonna try to do more traveling and document you know the places that I go to because I feel it is necessary that we get out and take care of ourselves mentally these eyebrows put on they look a little crazy now but trust the process they ain't gonna always look crazy And I'm gonna just go in with my Pro Concealer. There we go. Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. Now this color is closest to my skin color. Again, we're not doing a full face of makeup. We are just doing the very minimum makeup, no makeup look going on here because again we are in a hot tropical climate so we want to be as comfortable as possible so I'm just going to clean up underneath my brows using this fawn color like so all right so we're just gonna take our little beauty blender or sponge and we're going to just blend that out and we're going to just take that sponge and which and whatever product is Still on the sponge, I'm not going to add any more and just go into that brow. It gives a more natural look. And then I'm going to just take my spoolie.
Now this next step is optional, but if you just want your look just to look just a little bit more like you have makeup on, then you can take a brown eyeshadow. It's still natural looking, but just to give it just a little bit more um, I'm going to take the wire palette and use this color here. And I'm just taking a MAC 224 blending brush. Your next step so I'm gonna grab my liquid liner this is net NYX epic lip liner oh, sorry not lip liner epic eyeliner and <coughs> we're gonna just do a small little wing I mean just a small Do the same with the other side. And just blend it. My bigger than six mascara and two babes. Puffing my lashes. If you are a gal or a guy that likes to get their lashes done by lash tech, you definitely can uh, skip this step if you have individual lashes. But I'm doing this because I'm going to put on some false lashes. And I would recommend if you have a good lash tech to just get lashes so you don't have to worry about it. And just make sure you're eyebrows are on point, lashes, your wing, and just a nice cute little nude lip, and a uh, few little other things, and you'll be good to go. Now I'm going to be wearing these lashes today, so I'm going to get them prepared, <clears throat> and depending on what you're looking for, <clears throat> depends on the how dramatic the lashes are because your lashes can make or break your look or not necessarily make or break but just kind of change your look if you do a dramatic lash you don't even notice your eyeshadow and if you do a more you know normal calm lash then it could be you know just an everyday look and that's basically what we're going for on vacation. It's just a nice everyday look. Unless you're going out for, you know, going out to the club or going on a date or nice dinner. Then you might throw some eyeshadow on or a more dramatic lash. 
But for this, and since this is like if we're just, this is just a beach day, but you don't want to be, you know, you want to look presentable. So I'm going to let those dry a little bit. <clears throat> and now for my face, I don't want to do any foundation because like I said, you're going to sweat that mess off. Yeah, you can do it. You could put on a nice primer and make sure, you know, <laughs> a setting spray to make sure your face doesn't move. But we're trying to be comfortable, okay? We're not trying to be, you know, out here looking crazy, scared if a little water touch your face. So I'm going to put on, <clears throat> if I can find my brush, we'll just Just want to be lost right now. So what I'm going to be using is a setting powder. You can use any face powder that you normally use, but I'm using this Elf setting powder. And I want to believe it's in the color dark. Yeah, in the color dark. And we just want to take some of that shine off of our face. Now, if you are suffering from like hyperpigmentation, acne scars, you can go ahead and use uh, some type of concealer first to cover up your scars. Like me, I have, you know, scarring here, here, but I'm working on it. I'm getting set up. You know what I'm saying? I got back on my skin routine, so... I'm working on that, that pesky PCOS causes those things, but I'm working on getting that together, but if you're one of my queens that have that flawless skin, just put this on just to take some of the shininess off of you. If you don't mind that, that's cool, but if you don't want to be shiny, you could just put this on. And now your lip is up to you. Here you can add a pop of color if you want. Me, I'm just going to stick to a nude lip. Sometimes I'll just put on a clear lip gloss. But I'm going to just stick to a nude lip. So like I said, a nice just nude lip could uh, work. I mean, a nice just clear lip gloss if you want to be too much. But if you want to do a little bit more, you can put a nude lip on. What you crying about, girl? Yeah. What's going on? She should be good to go, and this will just cap off our look. Yeah, I'm crazy. I 
bless you, everybody, using their tweezers. I, I just can't. Just use my hand. Pop them bad boys on. While that dries, I want to take some black eyeliner. We're just going to go on our waterline. But that's it, you guys. This is the final look. This is a nice tropical vacation look an everyday look while you're on vacation if you're not wanting to put a full face of makeup on and you want to look cute but also being very minimal this is the look for you let me know what you guys think down in the comments below make sure you like subscribe comment turn on post notifications so you won't miss my next upload but that's all i have for you guys i love you guys i'll catch you guys on the next video bye